Hey everybody, this is Brandon Merch and welcome to Seed Sower Nation, where we are sowing seeds of life so that you can reap a harvest that no ear has heard nor eye has seen. Today's topic is going to be fill in the blank. It is here. Now, what may you ask does that mean? So right now we're in a crucial time. A lot of people's dreams are being put on hold. We have jobs that are being lost. We have money that is fleeting from people's accounts everywhere. And ultimately, our excuses are fleeting. Now, what does that mean, Brandon? Our excuses, what I mean by that are the things that have taken precedent over addressing the important aspects of our life, the things that have potentially robbed us of our joy, of our peace. And now those things are becoming at, to the forefront because we don't have the excuses of, oh, I have a job that I have to go to. I have an event I have to do. I have people I need to see, places I need to go, traveling I need to do. You don't, you don't have access to those things anymore because of this coronavirus. And now those things are being put to the forefront. So now you have to deal with those issues on a daily basis. And it's difficult. It's difficult to have to um, go to places that you maybe didn't think that you needed to go to anymore. You may have had traumatic issues and traumatic events that happened years ago, and now they're starting to resurface because of that. I know for myself personally, um, I deal a lot of times with some, some sort of anxiety. Um, I've had issues with depression in my past. And now that I've had this time to just be to myself, really, it's been a time where I've been trying to get closer and closer with God because I understand that those things are not going to be truly overcome without his presence being with me. And what I want to do and attempt to for you guys to do today is to say it's okay that these issues are taking the forefront because it's making you better. Just because we're inside and we're confined by this, you know, spaces within our homes or wherever we live at at the, at the present time doesn't mean that you have to settle for what's actually available to you right now. Um, people, a lot of people think of it as a loss right now because we're not able to be out and about. The weather is starting to break and everybody's getting excited, but, and that's great. But let's focus on where we're at right now and use what we have available. God's given us time so that we can stay indoors and that we can grow closer with him. It's not a space to fall apart. And I'm telling you, whoever needs to hear this, if you're going through any issues right now that you just seem like you can't get out of, you have having some, maybe some family issues that you're still trying to work out that you thought were already worked out. Maybe it was some sort of depression that you've dealt with in your past that has resurfaced. Maybe it's anxiety because you don't know what's going to happen right now. I'm telling you that there's a way out of it. So here's what I want to do. Um, I want to start a trend with this today. So as Cardi B has stated um, in her... Uh, I'll say, <laughs> I'll say a famous video right now. It's out is uh, you know coronavirus. It is here. Let's actually flip the script and let's put in the answer to whatever it is that's coming back in your life to try to haunt you. So for me, for example, anxiety. The answer to anxiety is in Philippians four seven. And let the peace that transcends all understanding be within you. That's my answer. So let's start that up. What I'm gonna say is Philippians four seven. It is here. No more anxiety. That's my hashtag. So for you, your answer may be something, another, maybe another scripture. Maybe it needs to be something that you had as a quote for something. It doesn't matter what it is, but let's put that in the blank instead of saying coronavirus, because coronavirus is not here. What is that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so that's how I'm living right now. That's how we want to do at Seed Sower Nation. And I hope you guys can take this video and apply it to your life. God bless. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your week. Be productive. Be sound. Be open. Be joyful.